Hi, today I want to show you how I did the giant poster Charlie Chaplin. I did that with GIMP. Uh, I'm now using the version 2.8.10 and uh, my initial idea was to, uh, to do a poster in black and white and to save money. So because c colorful printing is very expensive in that format. Uh, for the demonstration, I'm using a photo of mine and because I want to do it in uh, in a large format and uh, th there won't be a lot of details if you look from very far distance. So let's copy the picture to the face then we just ignore all the details. For example, like this. And uh, let's start to get rid of the color first. I use the discharge uh, rate, and you can see the color is gone. Just click on OK. And now I love to use the color curve to adjust a little bit the brightness and contrast. Now this looks okay. The GIM version I'm using has already included the GIM make uh, plugin, but you can download it as a separate plugin to add into your uh, existing GIM software. So my idea is uh, I don't want to print it in a uh, grayscale image because uh, in the large format you can get the sometimes uh, the gray color not very regular printed so it's better to get it in black and white only so I'm going to show you what I mean by that I want to make it like an old newspaper print so it's created with dots for the gray scale and uh, you can find the filter under pattern here and dots. Now you can see it, it's there are white dots, but I prefer to use uh, black dots, so I do it negative. But now the dots are not black; they are still gray values. I can change here to black and white. Now you can see all the uh, dots are black, but you can't see much details. In this case, you can increase the resolution. And then let's try that. Okay, as you can see, you can't see much details here. And I want to zoom it for uh, to see that you can see the dots, they are pretty rough. So let's undo that. Uh, it's better to scale my image. I make it bigger, change it to percentage and make it 300 percent. Now I can go back to the filter. You can press Shift, Control, F and get back to the filter. And then I can change the resolution, put the resolution a little bit lower, radius a little bit higher, and zoom out again to see the preview. Uh, for some reason, you can't really rely on the preview here. You have to try it out. And the I can increase a little bit number of scales so I think that makes the dots more uh, smooth. Let's try again. Okay that looks a little bit too dark to me and uh, I can undo it first and then go back to the filter and reduce the radius which can make it a little bit brighter. Try it again. 
Okay, I think I'm happy with that. At the moment, you can only see the preview here is uh, scaled down and uh, before you send it to printing service, it's better to double check whether the dots are good. I can zoom in and then I think the patterns are pretty good. I'm happy with that. One thing I want to mention to you is when I did my Charlie Chaplin poster for my size is too large. The largest size I could get is A0 so I had to s split my image in three pieces and for the first order I tried to print the face and then I, when I was happy with the size I, I sent another order with the head and the body somehow I got, got uh, the face in a little bit different size so luckily I split the image uh, when there's no critical uh, details and so it's not very obvious that they uh, have different size so I want to what I want to say is if you try to print your own image and you have to split your image make sure it doesn't cut through your face or anywhere for example if I want to print this one I would to merge my image in this area so there won't be critical details and uh, that's all about the uh, uh, pattern dot filter from gimmick and I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching bye closer 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 and I can press S to scale the cube and then scale smaller so you can see it